uh, audiobook narration is something that I actually found myself into. Uh, I was just minding my business on YouTube one day and just looking up side hustles. And I went on to a YouTuber's channel and she was talking about reading books and getting paid for it. So I'm like, what? So sure enough, like uh, she talked about this company. It's called ACX. It's, um, they actually do the audio books for Amazon. Yep, I've heard of them before. Yeah, yep. yep. So I, I, uh, she was saying like, oh, you can get paid for this. And I'm like, okay, well, let me just try it. So I went in and I just did an audition for a book. And I got picked for it my first time, never did audiobook narration a day in my life. I got picked for it. And the author, she liked me so much that she actually offered me a second contract before I even completed the first book. So I got two audiobook contracts on my first audition, just one audition. And um, so that's actually been a major thing that people have been talking about on my channel. It's actually got me a lot of subscribers. And um, yeah, so I just, I talk about that as well um, and how to go about doing it without having to splurge for a lot of like expensive equipment and, you know, just letting people know like how to go about it. And like, just from the standpoint of somebody that doesn't have any experience with it, like, this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm getting by. And so my, I do have one audiobook out and then I'm actually working on the second one right now. So yeah, so that's you're one of my books or that you're narrating for someone else. Yeah, it's yes, um, an audiobook that I'm narrating for for an author. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I'm laughing over here for a reason. I'm trying to see if somebody's going to no. Because so last week there was a conversation about me doing voiceover work, and every now and again, people will bring it up on my YouTube channel or mm -hmm. Facebook somewhere. And they're like, "Kamara, you should do voiceover work." And then this week, here you are bringing it up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there are a lot of people that are into that world. And I actually, normally, I think the majority of the people that respond to my audiobook narration videos are male. Um, and they talk about their experiences. And I've had um, people from authors to uh, potential narrators commenting and, and letting me know about their experiences with it. But yeah, a, a lot of guys are into it as well. Okay, so I mm. guess the universe, y'all. Hey, Miss Edith, how you doing? Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. But mm. I guess this is the universe, y'all, because y'all did, I think it was the white last week, and then somebody else piled on to the conversation as well. So maybe this is the universe telling me that I should go apply for uh, mm -hmm. ATX. But for anybody else that has an itch to not possibly do um, voiceover and book readings and audio book readings, here's the website right mm here -hmm. right here so <laughs> i'm really i'm really tickled by this right now <laughs> the one thing i do want to let people know about is um there are scammers everywhere you go so if you can like you know just be really cautious about that because i've actually had a couple people just you know just given a heads up that they've had bad experiences with it where uh, people will claim that they're a particular author and then will get you to do the audiobook and or you know people trying to get you to work for free and oh. yeah there's different scams out there and um so just be cautious of that there's uh with ACX there's there's three types of contracts so there's the royalties contract which is what I have so I get a percentage back from all the book sales um also there's um the the flat rate so what you can do is just do the audiobook and they'll say, okay, well, I'll just pay you this amount of money. Um, those are the ones where normally if they're going to do that, that, that might be a little more legit, but there's something also called a royalty plus. So you get the royalty and you get that flat rate on you both. And so I've, I've also heard of people that have, um, you know, they actually saw my video that let me know I had one woman, she, she told me, she said, yeah, thanks to your video. Like I, I checked it out and now I have a royalty plus deal. So I'm like, oh, that's really good. So yeah, so it depends, but just be careful. Um, especially if you promise to just, you know, if you just do it on a royalty because you're not getting the money up front and you might end up doing all the work and then finding out that you were scammed. So luckily that, that didn't happen to me. Like mine was legit. My, you know, everything worked out for me, but there are scam artists out there as well. So just be cautious. Any ways to avoid that that you can think of? Um, like, like I said, the, the one thing I would do is I would definitely try to just research that author. 
uh, find out if it's a legit author and really if it's too good to be true, you know, if it sounds too good, be, good uh, it sounds too good to be true. Like people are actually really um, accessible these days. So a lot of times you can even like try to email the person or DM them like, is that really you that, you know, that picked me for this, you know? So that's what I would do, you know, if, if that was the case, like if it, if it seemed unbelievable or if I, if I didn't feel right about it, then I would definitely uh, reach out to that particular author and just make sure that it's legit.